Uh, we just did one where the discriminant was uh, greater than zero, right? So we had two, um, two distinct real roots where the parabola crosses the x-axis in two places where we have two x-intercepts, right? Two roots, two factors. Let's do one where the discriminant inside the square root symbol in the quadratic formula is equal to zero, which would mean the parabola, if you're graphing it, the parabola just touches the x-axis, right? Just hits it and bounces back up, or hits it and bounces back down. Now, I've never done, the, I don't think I've ever done a, a one on the ground before, so let's try this one out on the ground. Uh, it's, it's fairly simple, and you would, again, you wouldn't use the quadratic formula for this one. Okay. You would just use simple trinomial factor, but we're going to do it uh, just to show you know where where the coefficients go in the quadratic formula, and it's fairly easy. And what's going what's going to happen is the discriminant is going to equal zero, so it's just going to give us one root, one x-intercept, or and that one when the discriminant is equal to zero, it's it's a double root. It's uh, it's it's actually two identical real roots. So what it what it ends up happening if you're just factoring it, it becomes the same things, the same thing multiplied by itself, okay? Basically, uh, it's x squared plus 4x plus 4, right? So what we're going to do is take the coefficients and plug them into a quadratic formula. And the quadratic formula, again, is x is equal to negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a, okay? And you should have that written beside you on a piece of paper that you're always going to be referencing or you're going to memorize it. The best thing to do really is to write it down on a piece of paper because sometimes your mind plays, plays tricks on you and um, you skip a step and what happens you end up doing it wrong. Okay? So super important just to have the formula written beside you. So what we end up having is x is equal to negative 4 plus or minus the square root of 4 squared minus 4 times 1, and that dot there is uh, between the 4 and the 1 is just multiplication symbol, right? So 4 times 1 times 4, right? Divided by 2, two times 1. Now, negative 4 stays as negative 4, plus or minus 4 squared is going to be 16, minus 4 times 1 is just 4, times 4 is going to be 16. So inside the root symbol, we're going to have 16 minus 16, right? So it's going to be the square root of 0, and the square root of 0 is just 0. So what we finally end up with is negative 4 divided by 2. So what we got is going to be negative 4 plus or minus square root of 0 divided by 2. So that's just going to be negative 4 divided by 2, right? And negative 4 divided by 2 is just going to be negative 2. So what we got is x is equal to negative 2, right? Now, this thing was just a straight up factor. If it was equal to 0, your final answer would be negative 2. You're done, right? But this was an expression that said just factor it, right? It didn't say solve it because there is no equal sign there. So what we're going to do is because we want the factors of this expression, we're going to grab this negative 2 and bring it over the equal sign, right, to the side where, where it's on the same side as the x. So we're going to have x and the negative 2 comes or it becomes plus 2. So x plus 2 is equal to 0. Right? So we've got x plus 2 is equal to 0. And to factor this guy completely, from the discriminant, from the quadratic formula, from the discriminant rule or the discriminant uh, property, we know that the discriminant is equal to 0, which means that we have two identical real roots. And this is a quadratic, uh, quadratic expression, right? It's quadratic, uh, a quadratic function, basically, a quadratic equation. But it's a quadratic ex expression because there is no equal sign. So we know it's going to have to be two things multiplied together. So your answer for this, if you're going to factor this completely, is going to be x plus 2 times x plus 2. Okay, so this expression in the top, completely factored, is going to be x plus 2 all squared. Okay, so what we got is x plus 2 all squared, and that's the top guy factored completely. Uh, again, it's, it's fairly simple. All you're doing is just taking your coefficients, plugging them into quadratic formula. If your original question was equal to zero, you would leave it right here. You would leave it at, at, in this part where x 
is equal to negative 2, okay? But since this thing is not equal to 0, it's an expression that is basically the question would be asking you to factor it. What you gotta do is write it, write out the factors, which is basically bringing whatever numbers are, you know, x equals whatever numbers. If this is a fraction, you gotta cross multiply it up to the x and then bring the number over. So whatever's on the other side, you gotta bring it to the same side as the x, and whatever you have multiplies together to give you the original question, right? If uh, the original expression, if they ask you to factor it. Okay? Let's go do another one where the discriminant is actually equal to a negative number. And what that tells us is, it's, you know, you can't take the root of a negative number. So what that says is, you can't factor it, which means in the real number set, in the real number set, because that's where we're functioning right now, in the real number world, there are no factors for it, so we can't continue to factor it. So we're, our, our expression is not going to be factorable. Okay. So let's do one where uh, the discriminant inside the root symbol is going to be negative. And this is one where 100% we would have to use the quadratic formula because we don't know how to do it manually, right? That says negative x plus five, um, negative x plus five x minus eight, right? So what we're gonna do is plug that into our quadratic formula. So what we got is negative five plus or minus uh, five squared, which is gonna be 25, minus, 4 times negative 1 times negative 8. Now, what we have inside there in the discriminant is negative 4 times negative 1 times negative 8. That's three negatives multiplied together, right? So that's going to be a negative number. And 4 times 1 is just going to be 4. 4 times 8 is going to be negative 32, right? And at the bottom, we got 2 times negative 1. So, so what we got right now is negative 5 plus or minus the square root of 20, uh, 25 minus 32 divided by negative 2. Now 25 minus 32, that's a negative number, right? So what we have here right now is going to be x is equal to negative 5 plus or minus the square root of negative 7 divided by negative 2. And you can't take the square root of a negative number, right? So right there, we know that the above expression is not factorable because we have a negative number inside the root symbol, okay? And if that was equal to zero, then there would be no solutions, there would be no x-intercepts, there would be no roots, there would be uh, no zeros, no factors, right? So we know from um, series theory A that anything x squared, that, that's a quadratic equation, a quadratic equation, quadratic functions graph parabolas. So what that would mean is the parabola doesn't cross the x-axis, either even if it's opening up or down.